Hey guys, we're going to talk about the geography and regions or geographic regions of Texas today. We've got uh, some interesting stuff here right at the start. Uh, in history or geography uh, of Texas, we only concern ourselves with these four regions right here. Okay. Now, in your science class, you're going to study subregions, okay, right over here. And that's all these different piney woods and Edwards Plateau and the Trans Pecos. So you'll you'll study a lot more of this, these subregions than you will in in science than you will just these four larger regions uh, in Texas history. Okay, so get that in your head, make sure you're clear on that because a lot of students meet with some confusion on this very first test when they hit that science stuff or when they take that science test, they get some confusion with the uh, Texas history region. So history is four regions only. All right, so let's get out of this drawing and then we're gonna go to our next slide. First, we're gonna start off with the mountains and basins region. Now, this region, of course, it's located way out here on the kind of the tip of the Texas. This is, you know, the closest to New Mexico and Arizona over there. Um, that is, again, this red area right here. That's the mountains and basins region bordering Mexico. It's got the Rio Grande, of course, all along those, but that red one right there. Now, it's physical features. It's lots of rocky, mountainous area, desert basins, <clears throat> and of course the Rio Grande. Uh, in terms of climate and vegetation, you've got a lot of arid, hot climate. Um, it is very desert-like, high mountain desert, so to speak. And then you've got desert flora and fauna, or plants and animals. All right. Um, down below that, let's talk about history and significance. So we're going to go ahead and get out of that drawing and jump ahead. So history and significance. Um, in terms of oil, in the mountains and basins region, if you look at this map, the more blue, the more oil. Some of our largest natural gas resources and oil resources are here in the uh, Permian Basin and or the Mountains and Basins area. All right, uh, in terms of history and settlement, some of our earliest settlements, the Spanish missions, are here in the Mountains and Basins area. One of the oldest towns in the United States, El Paso, is founded there in 1659, right there. So El Paso, right up here in the corner of Texas, uh, is the one of the earliest cities in the United States. It's only a few years older than some of the first, or a few years younger, excuse me, than some of the very first English settlements. So something to be aware of right there. Um, so yeah, some history and significance there. Now let's jump into native groups. The native groups of the uh, mountains and basin area were traditionally two different groups. You have the Puebloan people, and then you have the Apache people. Now, there are two different groups of, of Apache. There's the Mescalero and the Lipan, and the two different groups uh, spoke the same languages or related languages, and we're very closely related, but still distinct groups. Uh, the Jumano and the Pueblo people, very different cultures. The Apache, hunters and gatherers following buffalo. The uh, Jumano and the Pueblos, they built these towns, or what we called Pueblos. They're big adobe walled structures that uh, were like cities out there. And they were uh, not hunters and gatherers. They, because they had cities, they had to practice agriculture. So that's what these uh, people did in their area of Texas. Now, go 
go ahead and get rid of that drawing again and jump ahead to resources. In terms of resources in uh, these different areas, you can see that a lot of it is solar powered. Got a lot of sun out there. Um, you've got, uh, in terms of farming out in this area, uh, there is not as much as elsewhere in the state. There is still some. The majority of cotton farming and those things take place on the plains or, uh, or over in this area, but there is still some farming out there. It just all has to be done with irrigation because there's very little rainfall in that area. All right, let's jump ahead here, and we're going to talk about a little bit more historical significance, and that is oil and gas. The mountains and basins region is significant to our history of Texas because of natural gas and oil and the prosperity that a lot of that has brought to our state. All right, so we're going to leave it off here, and we're going to jump in and go to... Uh, the coastal uh, plains to the next video. So I will see you guys in class.